MDA just announced a new $400,000 um, infrastructure grant to Brian Trainer at the NIH to sequence the exomes of 1,000 ALS patients. So the exome is, um, is a small part of the genome. You've probably heard of the Human Genome Project where they're sequencing the whole of the human genome. The exome is the small part of that, um, of that genome that codes for proteins. So it's the parts of the DNA that does something that we know about. That's not to say the other parts of the genome don't do anything, but most disease mutations are part of the exome, which is a much smaller part of the genome than the entire thing. So we're going to sequence just those parts because that's where we're most likely to find new disease mutations. So Trainer's project is, is particularly interesting in the sense that they're not only sequencing a thousand ALS patients, the majority of those patients have already have donated tissues that are in a data bank. So not only will all of the information from this project be put up on the internet and available to researchers around the world, if they come up with a new hypothesis, they're going to be able to get hold of the tissues and follow up, the, follow up their hypotheses by actually testing those, um, those hypotheses, really seeing what's going on at a tissue level. So it's going to be really exciting because this isn't just going to help the trainer lab, it's going to help researchers all around the world to look at the data from this project, get the tissues associated with those samples and follow up on those hypotheses. And we're really hoping that that, that, that that data, once it's available at the end of the year, will really help us move ALS research forwards. So right now we're in a really interesting place with ALS research in that we don't, still don't really understand what causes the disease. And about 10 to 15 percent of cases are familial, they're inherited through the genes and the rest seem to be sporadic. We're beginning to find some new mutations which cause the disease and a project like this is going to be really exciting because we're going to be able to identify new gene mutations that cause the disease and possibly modifiers of that disease, which means you may have a patient that should progress very quickly and that patient doesn't, we may be, may be able to find out what's different about that patient um, and therefore he gets some really new and exciting ways of treating the disease. So this is, the main goal of this is to identify new, ge new genes and new mutations that can cause ALS but it's going to tell us a lot about the fundamental causes of the disease. Okay.